Hello, and welcome to Interface Fluidics' fifth video in our Visual Reservoir series. We are coming to you from our lab in the Canadian National Institute of Nanotechnology in beautiful Edmonton, Alberta. This episode will be focused on visualizing the self-diffusion of water by allowing dyed and undyed water to mutually diffuse inside a microfluidic channel. Shown here is a magnified view of a microfluidic chip. Channels have been etched into the material and then sealed to allow fluid to flow. Clear water flows in from the left hand side of the chip, while blue dyed water enters from the bottom, forming an interface at the intersection of the two channels. Flow is then stopped and the water is allowed to mutually diffuse along the channels. The area shown here can now be analyzed to determine the relative concentration of blue dye over time. We place an axis on the channel and plot the color intensity along it. This intensity indicates the relative concentration of dye at points along this channel. We can watch this plot in real time as the water now begins to mutually diffuse along the channels. As the water begins to diffuse, a concentration gradient is formed along the channel. Areas further from the interface are less diffused, while the areas closer to the intersection are highly diffused. This gradient can be used to calculate the diffusivity coefficient of the water into water diffusion system. The diffusion coefficient of various mixtures can be extremely important for processes such as solvent-based recovery used in heavy oil production, and so is of great interest to industry. If you're interested in learning more about microfluidics and its uses in fluid analysis, then please subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, then please comment below. Thank you very much for watching.